Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Talking Cubs. I'm your host, Ryan Davis. I'm going to be joined in a moment by my co-host, Sean Sears. We're going to be talking about the big news. The Cubs finally have announced their new TV network. This is something that's been rumored for years. We all knew it was going to happen eventually. Uh, We have now information about who they're partnering with, and a lot of fans are kind of upset about it. So, Sean, what was your reaction when you heard that the Cubs were going to be partnering with Sinclair on a network in 2020? Uh, I mean, it was disappointing, I guess, just because obviously Sinclair Media represents a news group I'm not necessarily super fond of. Um, but you know, at, this, at the end of the day, too, I, I, I was just glad that it's done. It's over with. We've got it out there. We know who the Cubs are partnering with. They can start to figure out how we can start to watch these games after 2019 and you know see where this takes us for the most part, but eh, it just not, I'm not thrilled to put it in the best way. Yeah. I mean, we should talk about the ramifications of partnering with Sinclair, at least initially before we get into more details, but uh, Sinclair, for those who aren't uh, super familiar, it it owns a lot of your kind of basic cable broadcast news. Um, You know, if you're, if you're the kind of person who stays up and watches then the local news, they own a lot of those stations and, they have a, a very heavy hand in the kind of news that gets put on their shows and and they like to kind of uh, push a certain sort of agenda and a lot of people really don't care for the way they're sort of uh, a lot of people feel are kind of trying to brainwash uh, people with with what they put out there and um, that's uh, that's kind of a big point in this. Uh, I would say that those who feel who are worried that uh, that kind of political agenda is going to leak into the Cubs broadcast or what the Cubs are doing, I personally don't think it's going to. But uh, there is also the point of the money the Cubs generate is going to be going to funding that. So there's that's something people have a big issue with. Yeah, that's that's a great point. Uh, you have to kind of take into consideration first off who runs the Cubs um, now who they're partnering with to broadcast their games uh, obviously I think kind of the lore with Cubs I know personally the reason I'm a Cubs fan is because my dad was able to watch games in Houston on WGN obviously that kind of sect of fan group here with the Cubs it kind of brings kind of almost like a family you grew up with the Cubs sort of thing and I can't see this changing that, but I don't know if it necessarily makes it kind of like, well, I'm a Cubs fan because of this and that or whatnot. And the attachment to WGN obviously is a thing that it was brutal to see the Cubs leave their, their radio waves a couple of years ago. Now to officially for this to be the last season with them on TV, it's going to be kind of a, you know, maybe not heartfelt, but you know, a little, little disappointment from the Chicagoland area. Um, the only thing I could really say, see this making people excited would be if, if it really does give, fans across the country an opportunity to really watch the Cubs. Yeah. And you know, there, there's all sorts of things that we don't need to get into on this video about blackout restrictions and the way major league baseball kind of fails its fans in that way. But um, just to kind of cover what this whole thing is going to be, or at least the details we have today, Crane Kenny came out and said, we are excited to better serve our fans with expanded and exclusive programming, showcasing our remarkable players, beloved ballpark and storied past. Our dedicated Cubs-centric network will carry all available Cubs games and feature uncompromising, in-depth, and behind-the-scenes coverage. So it sounds like, you know, Crane's probably trying to dress it up a little bit here, but it sounds like there will be more than what you're getting in your typical WGN broadcast or your uh, NBC Sports broadcast. Um, The major points that I have written down here are, starting in 2020, you'll no longer get Cubs games on WGN. Uh, The network is going to air uh, Cubs games classic Cubs games of the past and their own kind of created content. Uh, One of the early rumors about that content that I see a lot of people kind of joking or rolling their eyes at is that Ryan Dempster is in talks to host his own show. What, what do you, what do you think about that? I'm, I'm just not a huge Ryan Dempster comedian kind of guy. Yeah. I feel like it was kind of funny when he did the Harry Carey impressions or when he would like, you know, I don't know, make a joke during press conference stuff, but to like see him try and write, like, like to host like his version of the tonight show Cubs con just never really hit. Um, so I'm, I don't know. I mean, I, I do like, he does that like walk 90 feet thing or whatever, um, with players. And that's kind of interesting because he does ask some good questions, but I mean, I, nothing about, I mean, Ryan Dempster getting his own TV show does not make me more interested 
buying this TV package if that's you know what they're planning on doing. Yeah, I don't know how many extra subscribers who would be on the fence about whether they want to subscribe and get 162 Cubs games. I don't know how many people you're pushing over the edge by, well, I also get Ryan Dempster. <laughs> yeah, it's so. not, not necessarily the sticking point I'm looking for in my uh, will I or won't I pay for this. Yeah, the other thing I saw somebody uh, mention on Twitter that kind of tickled me a little bit uh, that also I don't think would be a big sticking point for anybody in like pushing them over the edge on having to get this uh, this cable package. But uh, the suggestion was that uh, I, Brett Taylor from Bleacher Nation, Evan Altman of Cubs Insider, and Kelly Wallace of Expanded Rosser all get together, the four of us, and do a show on the Cubs Network where we uh, get really drunk and answer questions from Cubs Twitter. Just to let the Cubs know, I am 100% in on this idea. <laughs> I did, did executive produce that show in a heartbeat. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I mean, first off, like that's probably better than anything to be able to put on the TV, uh, their network. But I mean, like going back to the network itself, I mean, everyone's kind of seen these videos the Cubs production team's been putting together, obviously using like the red cameras that are like incredibly HD and great for sports picture and whatnot. But even just some of the stuff they've put together for Cubs Con or even like the just the improved graphics we've seen since they've added the video board. It was pretty obvious the Cubs were dabbling in some type of media one way or another that they, we had seen before from the Cubs particularly, uh, just simply because they hadn't had the need for it before they renovated Wrigley. But now that they've kind of taken this step, I mean, just like walking around the facilities around Wrigley Field itself, you could see like the animations they were putting together, the broadcast, like everything that's kind of fitting. It just seemed like you were watching something on the MLB network and not, you know, just looking at some highlight video before Jason Hayward went up to Billy. So I'm, I'm not surprised by any of this. As I think everyone is, we were anticipating this coming for a while. Um, I am intrigued to see what they do try and fill some of these spots with. Cause I mean, if it's going to be a station that they're trying to sell as, you know, Cubs all the time, I know talking with my mom who is a diehard Cubs fan, is like, you know, I love the Cubs, but if it's, you know, January, I'm not about to sit down and listen to something about the Cubs in this moment, you know, like it's not, it's not a selling point to her. <laughs> and I feel like that's the most, that's like your core demographic of people that would be paying for this. Right. Yeah. Hopefully there's enough people who would uh, at least maybe sit down in February and watch a YouTube video for 10 minutes about the Cubs. <laughs> I feel like that's exactly what everyone ever wanted ever. If they're, they, they're saying they don't want it. They just don't know yet. Maybe they'll give us our own show. I mean, we're already putting our charisma on display here. I do you see this. I mean, this is the best that 360p can give you from video. I don't know. <laughs> is this my good side? <laughs> do I have a good side? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let us know what you think of that whole thing, uh, what you'd like to see as far as content on the Cubs new station, uh, how you feel about Sinclair. You can throw that in there, whether you like it or don't. Feel free to send it on by. Uh, and be sure to click the subscribe button on our channel. Uh, we are fairly new, but we're doing Cubs content. We're going to be trying to bring it to you regularly, so subscribing helps. And uh, hopefully we'll have more interesting stuff than just uh, TV news to talk to you next time we bring you a video. 